We're turning our attention now to the war in Israel, a growing humanitarian crisis as unfolding in Gaza as Israel prepares for a possible ground invasion. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden prepares to visit Israel and Jordan tomorrow. ABC's Ines de la Quintera has the latest. Amid a deadly and growing conflict in the Middle East, the White House announcing President Biden will travel to Israel and the Kingdom of Jordan Wednesday. First is making sure he gets an update from his Israeli counterparts about uh, their plans, their intentions, how things are going on the ground, and make sure that he conveys a strong message of continued support. Number two, it's really on the humanitarian front. It comes after Secretary of State Antony Blinken had a seven-hour marathon meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Israeli authorities preparing to potentially launch a massive land assault in Gaza, a city already suffering from a growing humanitarian crisis. That crisis is why President Biden is also traveling to Jordan Wednesday to meet with King Abdullah, Egyptian President el-Sisi, and Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas. Millions of innocent Palestinians are running out of basic necessities like food and water. No aid has entered Gaza in more than a week. Hospitals short on supplies. We were told that the machines are no longer working because the water pressure now has dropped to the point where they can't function. Thousands of people gathering at the Rafah border crossing, hoping to get to Egypt. But the crossing remains closed, despite promises it might open for foreign nationals, including Americans. Hundreds of trucks filled with needed supplies also lining up to help Gazans. But that aid is sitting there with nowhere to go. We need access into Gaza, and we need to be able to reach the people inside wherever they are. Meanwhile, Israeli officials say 199 hostages are still being held by the terror group Hamas inside Gaza, taken in last week's attack. The militant group releasing this video of 21-year-old French Israeli citizen Mia Shem, her family giving us permission to show these images. She was kidnapped with many others from that desert music festival in Israel, pleading to be reunited with her family. I saw my baby on television. I didn't know if she's dead or alive until yesterday. I'm begging the world to bring my baby back home. Hamas slaughtered more than 1,400 Israeli civilians and soldiers, and in Gaza, more than 2,700 Palestinians have been killed. And about 2,000 U.S. troops have been put on alert, meaning they could be ready for deployment amid growing fears Iran and its proxy Hezbollah in Lebanon could enter the conflict. In Esdalek Quatera, ABC News, Jerusalem.